Hello, here's a video in which I, Nick, will show you the uh, first part of the overview of my LEGO Hero Factory Mug, Mr. Ultimate. Okay, so if you haven't watched the previous two parts yet, uh, go check out on my channel and you will see them. There will probably be a link on screen now and there will probably a be a link in the description if I have already but that's fair. So here is Mr. Ultimate. And Mr. Ultimate is Ultimate. And where was I? Oh yeah. I was only uh, I only need to talk about the weapons he had and the jetpack. So here we go. So at first the left weapon or right for where you can see it. So you see it. But it is left for for him it is left. So his left weapon is a double or actually quadruple uh, brain attack sword. It, why did I choose this? Well that is just because this part is really uh, supposed to represent the place where you um, hold on to a sword. And I don't really know the English word for that, but this is just the place where you hold onto a sword. And then this is just the ultimate sword piece for the moment. I mean, a better sword piece than this doesn't exist yet for the Hero Factory current characters if you are a Lego designer. And, well, uh, these pieces are made to put on to this piece. And they are also made to, if you, so uh, that if you put two on them uh, onto a uh, weapon base of the brain deck, you will get a bigger sword. So this is just the ultimate sword. Uh, Stormer X L was the first one to have a two swords put onto each other to make a wider sword, and this is just the uh, designers really liked something like. That is just an awesome idea, and they made this. And this is just the best sword you can get now. And I made a double one of it, just, just because I could. I mean, it doesn't make him less ultimate. It doesn't make him more ultimate. It makes him stay the same way ultimate as he was previously. Uh, only it gives him a little bit more characteristic, character, character, and it's okay. Yeah, I guess you know, just a double sword. And it is also unique, I mean, no one, uh, not, not any set has yet used a double sword of this. And I'm really happy to have had uh, four of these green swords. I made them from a pick a brick order, I got them from a pick a brick order. And I'm happy to have four of them. So, now he has an ultimate double sword. Then, uh, the other weapon is the weapon I first put onto him. And that I put it onto there because I realized that there were four packs on here on his shoulders because of the use of the drill dozer chest piece. And only two of them were accessible for stuff because the uh, round shells will cover the other ones if you put the arms like this up like this. And it will it will take some motion from the arm, some movement range, if you will, but something onto there. So only these two were accessible, and I really thought, if I make an ultimate, I need to use the ultimate budget link that is available right now. This is just the budget link, the best budget link that is available. It had to be used in this guy, and also what it to be used in this guy was this uh, blaster, this uh, plasma blaster. <coughs> that is just because the plasma blaster is just the best way to um, Lego Cult uh, have made a summer spear launcher, no, a uh, Tornex launcher concept. And it is just the most standard, best 
gun in the Hero Factory universe, and it just had to be used in on there. And I also wanted to use the shield because the shield has a new ultimate version. The ultimate version used the shield is actually to put on this little piece here. So it's kind of this piece could expand and it could have a force field. This piece will get bigger and boom. He actually doesn't need this anymore. But this is just for quick put on there and then get to make an energized um, uh, force field. And that is really awesome. So I also wanted to use this on. And I wanted to use the public link. And to connect that, I used something that is not ultimate, but it is the ultimate way to connect it. And that is just by using this part, which is... The last time it was used, it was with Witch Doctor. So it's a part which is a little bit out of usage. But it really fitted here, and I thought... Lego would have done the same thing. And it is... This thing is just a little bit behind the shield so if you look like at it like this you think the bullet link is actually going into the weapon and it looks like the bullets are coming out of the hole that is here here's a hole it looks like then the bullets will come in here and they the, the used bullets the bullet link itself will get out here I think that is an interesting concept so I used to it here and it fits perfectly if you put it here and also, this thing will take immediately take your exact right pose. A pose where it is to the back, but also a little bit to the side, so you can still see it from the front. You can still immediately notice the bullet link here. So that is why I made this weapon. And then I, I chose a consistent color scheme for everything that is transparent, and that is green. I wanted to use Coranter's uh, atmosphere, but I lost it behind my bed, I guess. I think and so the face one also really fits with the color scheme it's a little bit the wrong color of green this one is also the wrong color of green this one is dark green and I need to have it bright green so this one needs to have another color but I don't really I'm not really sure if that color already exists you can also have him in yellowish green uh, transfer and fluorescent green or something that is also not what I wanted it to be so this one was the most the best I could use here and these forts are also green and these are really plasma blades now so he's pulling the theme of plasma and the hat I mean the ultimate character just had to use this as neck I mean if you this uh, thrilling ball joint bone bees also uses the wider kind of torso because that is the most standard natural torso on the Hero Factory team and it was still on the way to attach the drill dose armor and you know um, uh, this was the best way to without giving it too much personality attach a head while having this super chest and then the best just the ultimate headpiece for the moment is just this one, the brain attack headpiece. It is an upgraded version of the uh, the Glatorian head, and this time it is in the way that it fits the Euro Factory team of actually being nothing, being really standard, not having a real face, not having any story. But if you put a mask on it, it will have a story, and you will actually it'll take the place with the eyes and it has no story it only has functionality it, there is a face on it uh, will be a story but this is more functionality like the whole sphere factory line and we first had the 2.0 hats and people were complaining about that they wanted to have back the old hats so Lego brought back the old hats but those were breakable and those were the Glatorian hats so people still started to complain and now they may really make the ultimate hat the best hat and I'm really happy to have this hat it is only usable with really the masks that are meant to fit on it because you can just uh, put some other pieces on there and just use a face that is already on there and make it some kind of a helmet. You really need a mask that is meant for it. That is kind of a shame. 
but I'm really happy to have it not breakable and have it and it also has more connection points one here one here so you can do more stuff with it so I really like this piece here and I guess a lot of people will like it and I hope they Lego will stay with it because if they change it again it will be kinda frustrating for making mugs if they constantly will change the hat but this hat is really the hat the hat they need to stay with I, I, um, that is my personal opinion but it is currently the hat that is used by the uh, Hero Factory designers and I think the ultimate uh, mask will be a mask that fits with the visor because I mean a brain a brain attack brain an evil brain will give it too much personality as it only fit in one team and the uh, visor can be used throughout the whole Hero Factory team theme and so it needed a mask to fit with that and that was the whole uh, reason I chose the color scheme to be yellow and I already told you about that in part one and I'm not even showing the hat on camera ah. uh, so it needs to be Evo's helmet with a green visor on it but I don't have Evo's brain attack helmet yet so it uses his breakout helmet and the visor is really you see best kind of this time of having the hat is the visor not the brain and not none of them none of them will also fit but I don't know what the next series will be if they still use the visor or not but that is why I use this hat and then we are going to see the jet back Ta-da! so then I'll take them off this here is the jetpack and the jetpack is not part of being of the character being ultimate but I just uh, when I first created it, it had wings and I changed those wings and I uh, I can do it I took off the wings but I thought the wings were really awesome with this guy and come on wings are just cool so I just gave Mr. Ultimate still with wings and uh, I changed a lot and now they are really a bit a simple technique ball not too much technique just here is some technique stuff and then here we got these uh, shooters these uh, long shooting things and uh, these are actually the I really don't know the names right now but I with this comes an energy and that blasts him forward because an energy and it's not to shoot but it is to uh, the, 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 the thing that blasts him forward the thing to fly with here are just the movable wings and they are connected with this kind of little um, uh, technique little thing this thing first used on grill dozer this uh, how, how is it called um, uh, it has uh, two pins, two pinholes and two ball joints and that there are two ball cups and then we got with some technical attach these uh, uh, plates of which I don't know the name but they really these technic plates but they really look like wings they are also used as wings with some jello on it and I'm lucky uh, I had one extra force set had jello stickers on this and I'll also told you about that on the, color uh, on the color scheme part in part one so uh, not a too complex technic bolt but it was the only thing that really fits onto here uh, if you want to put on other stuff it wouldn't really fit but this thing really fits and it is really hero factory style so I'm happy about that and it, it is a little bit based onto on uh, searches brain attack uh, jetpack but a little bit, but a lot different. I mean, these are more possible and movable, so we can uh, more, more uh, take different flights and fly into different positions. Can immediately fly to another position by flapping his wings. 
to matter. But the most he doesn't really flap to fly. These things are supposed to keep him in, in the air. So I, he flies like this, and he needs to fly to something different, and he just do. <laughs> uh, I left my camera so. Yeah, it was just the air blast of this thing. It is so strong, the air blast is great by flying it. Cameras will fall down, even if the camera is just as big as the figure itself. So, not a too complex Technic belt, but I really thought it, it had to be on there. Even though it's not ultimate, it's just really specific and personal and... Um, how do you... Um, uh, character and story wise and stuff uh, and if if you want to create an ultimate you wouldn't have to put on these wings but this one just needed wings uh, I thought uh, it, the whole figure started out with the wings was the whole reason I created it actually so it still has his wings and they look great and they give in a little bit to bring in a little bit more of the transparent green and well, that is it. So that was part 3 and I'm done with the overview of this character. It took me 3 parts, but normally I make much longer videos, so it's actually not a really, 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 really long overview. It's longer than normal, but that is just because this figure just needed a lot of explanation about him. Um, the overall concept just you need to really understand it and I hope you guys understand it now so if you think Nick you there is something that if you make an ultimate and you are a designer and you really make the ultimate set you need to do something different just tell me in the comments let me know try to build your own different but this concept already had a different this size um, the XL hero also has kind of an ultimate already but you can also change that with some of the newest parts available like the head and the lower legs and maybe the arms can be a little bit longer so you can make the ultimate XL which wouldn't be Stormer because there's already a Stormer XL which is almost ultimate you could also mod Stormer XL to make really the ultimate XL hero so try, try your own stuff and then I'll just say thanks for watching I'll see you again soon. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to watch the other parts, of course. And if you uh, like my videos, please subscribe. Because if you subscribe, you will see more stuff like uh, overviews of Hero Factory mocks, Bionicle mocks. Now, Hero Factory mocks, Bionicle mocks. I really do this stuff with my hands aside from the screen, and I think you guys really need to see it. And, um, well, don't forget to watch stuff. And just thanks, thanks, thanks for watching. And I think I'm done, I'm talking too much. So, bye. And now I'll just do this. Bye.